Uh, a lot of people have written in about religion, uh, Jewish people, Muslims of the whole spectrum, and said, while you were on this march, being treated like an animal, or even below an animal, you wouldn't treat a dog this way, did you ever look up at the sky and say, God, where are you? Why are you letting this happen? This should not be happening. Any of you men ever become atheists during the, 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 the march, or as a result of it? Now, I don't know about other men. I can't put my mind, I put my mind in their mind. Um, there were no saying that there are very few atheists in foxholes. When the shells start coming over, you hear men say, God, spare my life. Right, please. Very few atheists. You're not kidding. <laughs> but on the, uh, on the march itself, right. um, I, I know that I, at no time did I look up at God and say, why? I think I was spending too much time trying to survive. And, and I was convinced in my own mind that my survival was up to me. I could not put my survival into the hands of anyone else, whether it was a super being or a real being. My survival was up to me, and how I survived was, was mine. Okay. So I never put the blame on God, nor did I ask God to do anything for me, but instead I wanted to do things for myself. And I don't know about the other man, I can't say. How about when you look back now with the hindsight, now you're not trying to survive, you don't have the pressure of all this hell. When you think back now, 50 years later, has it made you more or less religious than, than back then? Or in other words, are you a religious person now? Are you an atheist now? Where do you stand today? Oh, I'm a more religious person now. Religion, religious as a, um, as a belief in God. I believe there's a super being. I'm not religious where I have to go to my church or my synagogue every day, okay. or I don't have to pray. I am still of the opinion that a lot of my, my success or failure is up to me okay. and not up to any super being. I'm going to make my own or lose it on my own. I'm not going to blame anybody if I fail, and if I make it, I don't want to put, I don't want to say, I made it because God was willing. I want to make it because I was able to do it. So that's my belief. That's me, just me personally. Uh, and you had that same attitude 50 years ago. That's right. right? Same attitude. Same I attitude. haven't changed. Same attitude. Same attitude. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you know some of the survivors of, say, the Nazi concentration camps either become atheists or they're devoutly religious. Uh, you, you I've go heard either that. Way. You yeah. go either way. No, I've heard that. I've always wondered why you would go one way and why the other. I don't know. I, I just never had that in my own mind. In my own mind, I placed everything within me. Plus, if I failed, I didn't belabor it. If things didn't work out right, I didn't, I didn't put the blame on anyone else. I said, damn it, my idea was wrong, or I did this wrong, I got to do something different. Right. But I didn't, I didn't try to put the blame anywhere else. I took the blame myself. And, took and when, it worked out, yourself, when it worked right? out right, I said, damn, I, I did the right thing. You know, okay. that was okay. it. Good. All right. Well, everybody's different. Of all the horrors you witnessed, either on the march during the prison camp was burying the prisoners alive undoubtedly the most uh, horrific when you bury the man alive he's not even dead yet and you're smothering him with dirt or whatever when you say them what you what was it the most no i is that an unfair question I, I, that's a fair question but i think when you see when you see a man's head cut off I'm telling you, when you see that man's head drop, when you see the blood, when you see the body twitch after the head is off, that's horrible. Yeah, yeah. Makes it even worse if you knew the guy, right? Yeah. If, he, if he was a good friend, it that's makes it even doubly worse. All right. I guess so, but that's, that's the worst. I, I think burying a man alive is bad, yeah. but when you buried him alive, you also knew that he, was, he had malaria, he was out of his mind, right. he, was, he was dying of dysentery. You knew those things. No but when you saw the man that. kneel yeah. to have his head cut off, that's something to yeah. see, you'll see for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. How long did it take you, or do you still have dreams about the man's head being cut off? Do you still I have? Still have I still have nightmares. Oh, I guess the often? last. No, not often. Maybe four or five times a year. Oh, that's not too bad. Every two months. Uh, I cannot watch a war movie. 
Yes, sir. Can you watch a war movie? No. no. I cannot watch a war movie. All right. Especially one of the Vietnam era. I cannot watch that. Okay. Because the Vietnam era was so close to what we had uh, been involved in. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Um, did the Japanese soldiers treat the Americans almost as if it was a, a sporting game, like you're playing polo or basketball, just not being concerned, and uh, almost as if it was uh, you, know, you against me and we're on a baseball field? Was that the way they looked at the Americans? No, I don't think that's the way they did. I think what they did was they tried to make themselves heroes in the eyes of their friends. Okay. And it was more, it was more sort of, Watch me! I'm going to make this, or I'm going to make this American cry. Or watch this! This guy is six foot tall, and I'm only five foot. Watch what I'm going to do to him. And it was one of those kind of things more than the other. Yes. Would the Japanese try to impress the Filipinos by killing the Americans? And if so, oh, sure. why? Well, they wanted to show the Filipinos that the Japanese were the powerful people, and the Japanese were better than Americans. The Japanese were stronger than Americans. And the Japanese had full control over everything. That was the very important. And lastly, it was very important to let the Filipinos think or know that if they did anything wrong, the same thing would happen to them. Okay. So it's setting an example. Absolutely, right? set an example, and also to prove to them we're the strong ones here. You were you you were controlled by these Americans who are weak and no good. And here we're going to show you that where they're weak and no good. Right, right. Look at how they cry. Look at how we can do this to them. Yeah. Terrible. Okay. 